Hey guys, me Paisan Bastano. Uh, so, so the last episode, uh, uh, Phoenix like got framed for the murder of uh, his mentor, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's just <laughs> he's just a stupid stupid head. Ed White is stupid. <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. We just start. Whatever. <laughs> that was a bad intro. September 9th, 9.52 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number one. Well, I, I guess this is it. Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah, ah Phoenix, look. <laughs> well, I forgot how wide his sprite was. <laughs> That's a thick boy. <laughs> Uh, Prosecutor Edgeworth. I received a call from the Chief Prosecutor's Office yesterday. Uh, Nani. <laughs> I was told that what, whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony. If I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What? Does White have the judge in his pocket too? Whoa, it's not like he said that he owns a lot of people. <laughs> so, you're saying I'm going to be guilty in a story? Glad. <laughs> I will do anything to get to my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything. Why? Why? Because I'm the bad guy, you silly little girl. How can you torment an innocent person like that? Uh, innocent. How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who is guilty and who is innocent. All that I can, can hope to do is get every per defendant declared guilty. And that's a little, that's a little. Here's Azrael and Lilder, it's worth I don't know about that. <laughs> so, I make that my policy. Edgeworth, you've changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix Wright. F Phoenix. Well, Cor will be starting soon. Oh, wait, but, but wait! I mean, what, but wait! Your defense attorney isn't he even here yet. They're not... I'll be defending myself. <laughs> Which I think is... I don't think you can actually do that in, like, actual real court. <laughs> Just something in Phoenix Rightland you have to do. I don't know. I mean, you can do. What? Okay, l let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> September 9th, 10 a.m. to record courtroom number one. <laughs> Bam! Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you are you sure you're up to the, doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I'll be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crime. I see. Plus, you may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edward why his witness didn't testify before? It's like... It's like he already knows why. Hmm. If anyone's going to raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. Bam! Mr. Edward, you owe an explanation to the court. Why didn't this witness testify in the trial against Miss Maya Fay? Oh, <laughs> you silly little... Hmm. I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy... Mr. White is a busy man. So, I, what, right, what, white, I, I, I get them confused. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, at the time, I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that we would, that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. I'm so, so ever so sorry. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your de demeanor. Oh, I bow for everyone. Hmm. 
Great, he gets to show off and I get nowhere. And I'm such an unlucky guy. <laughs> I'd like to call Mr. Wed Wed Red White to the stand. I don't know why I, I have trouble said it, saying my R's. <laughs> Hello. Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Uh, your name. Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? <laughs> Man. Name! I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, name, name, name. For some, I went country for a second there. These two are great together. <laughs> my name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think translates to white boy. <laughs> great guys, great, great translation. I'm the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp, even though those are like two different things. Boy, I'm, I'm dumb. Did you know know the victim, Miss, Miss Maya Faye? That would be a negatory. No, I did not. Thoughts. You're after the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder. Murder? Correct! And, and you witnessed the, the mur murder from there. Ahem. Well, I tell you what you already know. Very well, Mr. White. You may, may begin your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why the hell is feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last one st man standing? <laughs> sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. I hope you have make, made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer. Huh? Let him have it, Phoenix. <laughs> Wait, why, why are you over there? My, why are you... I, I, I don't know. I don't know why I, I came over here. I just wanted to give you moral support, I guess. All right. Witness testimony. Witness his account. Let's see. It was about 9 o'clock, I believe. I was quietly crucifying, uh, that means reading to you, some papers by the window. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a sparkle haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She too was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was this terrible impaction. <laughs> impaction. <laughs> I won't use that word more often. Impaction. Then it was all over. Hmm. Things occurred as you testified, and I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well. <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't be saying that, like, at the beginning of this first testimony. <laughs> but hello, defendant, or, 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 I mean, Mr. Wright. Cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examination. Witnesses account. Let's see. It was about 9 o'clock, I believe. Hold it. How do you know what time it was? Because I am always absolutely perfect, you know? What's with people in this case using absolutely in a weird way? No, 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 you're, you're not getting away with that. You're so mistrust, Mr. Lawyer. So, what was the proper term for secretary again? Anyway, <laughs> Miss May ordered room service for 9 o'clock. It happened soon after the room service arrived. Hmm. That's what Miss May said, too. Pass further. True, the bellboy who brought the coffee say, Miss May. Damn, Miss May. Bam. But he testified that he did not see you at the time. Ahem, <laughs> this is your concern. Silly lawyer, Miss May received the coffee outside the room. Of course, he could not see me. He would need an x-ray vision to pull out off something like that. Hmm. Tell us, what were you doing at, at that time? I was quietly crucifying. Uh, that's reading to you. Some papers by the window. Hold it. What does crucify even mean? 
I later just explained what it what it, it, it you 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 didn't you didn't <laughs> by window you mean the one directly across from fan offices? Correct. That is only that is the only window you see. And there and there you were reading papers. Correct. The Gatewater is a biz businessman's hotel. Now I'm a busy man who had business to do. Business, 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 business. B bleh. Try saying that five times fast. Then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. Hold it. A bed, a bedlam. It must have been when you attack. I assume. We see. Continue. Surprise! I turned to look at the building across the way. Hold it. So you were reading your papers until you heard that sound. But of course, I am no snoop peeping out of windows at night. No snoop? Yeah, right. You've made a career out of snooping. <laughs> I just give up voice acting at some parts. It was then I saw him, a, a spock haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Hold it. S -s -s Spiky haired? That's the only <laughs> That's the only line that was said with this part of the testimony. It's just spiky hair. Needless to say that man was no other than you, Miss Rat. Hold it. Bam. What you just said directly conflicts with Miss May's testimony. Miss May clearly stated that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Miss Lilia. Just what is your eyesight? Counting both eyes? 400. 400? Don't add them together. <laughs> I think the witness is trying to say his eyesight is good. Me eyesight good. Me look good. <laughs> Me caveman. Ooh, ah, ah. Hey, whose side is the judge on anyway? And what did you do, do then? I called Miss May over at once. She too was surprised, of course. Hold it. What was Miss May doing at that time? She had just finished watching a soap opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Did you know she had been tapping the Fay office phone? Objection. Slam. Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I care not. I'll answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she ta when <laughs> when she. Tap the phone of this fake woman. You'd make a good politician, Mr. White. Oh, ho, ho, I know. After I am El Presidente. Please continue. The victim, she she ran away, but you gave chase. Hold it. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprende. Comprende. I understand. I understand. I understand. I keep getting my accents confused. Dang. The victim, the victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. He gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? Sparkle, I sparkle all day. As you know, I'm always absolutely perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. The victim ran to the left and you gave chase. Hold it. Are you sure about that? How many times must I say it? Bling, 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 shame. I'm absolutely positively perfect and a story. How many times must I hear that? Psst, Phoenix. Doesn't something about that strike you as a little odd? No. <laughs> I saw nothing wrong there. Finally, there was a terrible impaction. That was all over. Hold it. What does impaction even mean? Um, <laughs> impaction? Do you mean just impact? Yeah, you he question it. Ridiculousity. I think you need to brush up on your language skills. On second thought, perhaps I'd better leave the whole thing, language thing alone. Did Edric prep this? Did Edric prep? Did Edric prep this guy too? I wonder. Anyway, I better find a weakness in there. 
Let's see, I was quiet, and then I heard blah 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 country sounds. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, I see. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, the victim ran away after you gave chase. I think I'm supposed to present the uh, maze testimony, I think. Objection! Objection! Right, right there. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left, but that directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly said that the victim ran right. Um, oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. It is simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Look at the, look at the floor plans. The killer was here, and the victim here. If the victim ran to the left, as she claimed she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you think that's odd? Uh, very, very strange. I, I, I did see, see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. He really did see the victim run much. So he did witness, witness the killing. Wait a second. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Miss May says right, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? Mr. White is right, Mr. May is right. Both are right. Both witnesses are chilling the truth for once. <laughs> ha, I doubt it. I mean, I doubt it. Uh, rather, that does not, not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain their conflicting accounts. What? Nani? British Nani? Obviously, the witness was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Smack. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean? He was not viewing the crime from the hotel. Bam. If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the love, this is a vehicle, of course. Smack, smack, smack. More specifically, he was standing here. Time to show the court where Mr. White was standing. Right up. He was the victim. <laughs> he actually is dead and he's a ghost testifying right now. Ah, no, it's, 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 it's obviously... This is where he was. Look! When the victim ran for the door, if he was watching from this point, to him it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. I mean, no poop. Order, I will have order. Anyone disturbing the order of this court courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. White, what are you suggesting? Rapscallion. Objection. The postulations of defense are a distortion of the truth, Yana, and also slap. Indeed. They do seem a bit far-fetched. Mm, ho, ho, ho. Y'all, you, you provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing? The lad of the moment made me remember something. It appears I have been unclear, and for this I apologize. Miss Yana, might I be allowed to testify once more? I mean, sure, why not? I'm not really going to question your previous testimony. <laughs> Very well, let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. I'm not your butter, pal. I'm not your pal, friend. I'm not your friend. I don't remember how the saying goes. I mean, I don't know how... Whatever. I was trying to do a reference, but whatever. She ran to the left. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you sold the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. Bam. 
That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Miss Lawyer? Ho, <laughs> I'm so evil. Hmm, that does seem to make sense. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? You bet your biscuits I will. I mean, yes, Your Honor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cross-examination. She ran to the left. Miss May's testimony was correct, as was mine. Hold it. People can't be correct. What do you mean by that? That is what I am about to explain. You Americans, always so impatient. It does not become you. It, wait, aren't you? Aren't you in the same country, bro? Like, are you not American? I, I never really even questioned his. I thought he was also American in this. Whatever. Hey, buddy, you're an American. Oh yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I forgot about that. When you sold to the gal, she first ran to the left. Hold it. What do you mean first? You know, first, in comment sections. Oh yeah, of course. Curse, I, I forgot about that. First, that is what comes before what happens next. You do speak English, right? Please, sit back, relax. I will try to use simpler word, words for your benefit. First, she ran to the left. And then... And then you hit her savagely. This, that is what I saw. Hold it. Bam! I didn't hit anyone. No, no, Mr. Wright, there is no point hiding things from this court. I'm not hiding anything. Objection. Prosecution requests that the defense refrain from inter interrupting the testimony. Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Why is he mad at me? Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the wrath. Hold it. What do you mean, next? Not next, like in comment sections. <laughs> yeah, okay, I don't think that's a thing. Next is what ha comes after first. Bam, I know that. Then that is all you need to know, Mr. Lawyer. As I said, she turned and made a desperate dash to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. Pull it. Bam, stop saying it was me. <laughs> it was you, Sparkle Sparkle, but it was you. Objection. Mr. Wright, if you claim that it was not you, then show us proof. <sighs> Can I do nothing right? Nothing? May I continue? That is what Miss May saw. Hold it. So each of you saw different parts. Absolutely. That's right, of course. Where did he pick up that annoying phrase? Anyway, put it along. I think he just—I think he just made it up himself, <laughs> just to sound smart. You see, you hit her twice. Hold it. So were you waiting both times? As both I was. And please excuse me for not testifying to this sooner. What do you think, Phoenix? We've got him where we want. We want him. He slipped. Let him laugh for now. I'll soon wipe that smell off his face. I'm so us and really cool and stuff, you know. You, she couldn't have been hit twice because it says, you know. What is it? Oh yeah, just from a blow. I don't think it says anywhere else that like. Yeah, so I think it's. Autopsy. Objection! Mr. White, slappity 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 slap. The victim died from a single blow. Uh, what do you have to say to that? Uh, now's my chance to hit him where it counts, like a statue to kill someone. <laughs> Miss Wright, wasn't you who who told this court you were absolutely perfect? I will refrain from using that from that phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. Objection. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would like to request a 10 minute break. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, quite. Objection. The witness is confused because he is lying. Nod, nod, nod. I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. 
Don't let him get away. Smack. Very well. The witness would care to revise his testimony. The crowd's on my side. No slip me out of this one. This now, white. Man, that's a... Like... You know? <laughs> get used to not seeing that. Because I don't think... Phoenix doesn't really have the court side with him a lot in the series. Mr. White? Uh, 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 okay. Witness testimony. The two accounts. Um, well, well, see, I, I looked at the, the other door when I heard that thing fall. Then the next moment I, I saw Miss Mia run to left because you attacked her, but she dodged and, um, and then... She turned and ran for the door, and then he did it in the, with a single blow. The rap. He's sweating. Hmm. Swap indeed. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. Miss Your Honor, my, my stomach, you see, it, it, it is certain. Nod, nod, nod. No, no, no. Deal with it. Man, I love memes. This is almost over. Uh, Cause examination, the two accounts. Oh, uh, well, we'll see. I, I looked at the other the window when I had, had that thing fall. Hold it! You heard that thing fall? Looks like it was that thing. Huh? Uh, uh, oh, that, um, the, the glass last thing. Right, the one that had fallen over at the scene. Phoenix? Doesn't something about that strike you as odd? Yeah, very odd. Yeah, that is odd. I'll press further. Mr. White. Uh, 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 you're saying you saw the glass light sand? Y yes. Then change your testament to reflect that. S -s -s Sour. <laughs> My bad. Witness will revise his testimony. Oh, okay, okay, of course. A lot of sand was lying on the floor when I looked. Hold it. The glass stand was lying on the floor? That's the first I've heard of this. Why didn't you tell us about the sand before? Why? why me, me? Well, I, I was instructed not to. Wait. W one moment. Give me a minute to gather my thoughts. I'm, I'm so, so confused. Why it's falling apart. Objection. Joanna, please, I ask that you do not allow the witness to be badgered any further. Mr. White, please refrain from badgering the witness. Yes, Your Honor. Nod. Edgeworth is on the ropes. Very well. The witness, the witness may continue his testimony. Then, the, ne the next moment, I saw Miss Mia run to the left. Who is it? Miss Mia? Mr. White, did you know the victim personally? No, 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 no. Triple no out. How can I? Objection. I see nothing odd about the witness knowing the name of the victim. Slam. Mr. Wright, I will not have you <sighs> harrying the witness. I guess that's a word. You're looking a little flustered, Edgeworth. I'm so uh, assuming cool and well. The killer, you, attacked her, but, but she dodged. Hold it. Now before, you said that she was hit before she ran. Y y yes, I must say, been I must have been confused. But don't worry, we all know what happened now. She turned and ran for the door. Cooled it. Bam! What did you do then? I gave chase, of course. Uh, no, 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 I mean, the, the killer, I, I mean, he gave chase. Objection. Mr. White, please try to remain calm. <laughs> this right here is only trying to fuss you with base accusations. Uh, oh, right. Thank you, Miss Miles. Can you, can you be, can, 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 can you be my son? Please, please, I want you to defend me, please. I don't want to be in trouble anymore. No. No, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. I'm not, I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. Then you did it and, and it was a single blow. Thwap. Hold it. Thwap. That doesn't sound like the savage of tech from your earlier testimony. <laughs> oh, yes, well, I'm a man of peace, you see. Phoenix, 
He's getting a lot, lot less talkative. He's probably afraid I'll, ca I'll catch him on something. But it won't be easy. The last time I was lying on the floor when I looked. Yeah, it's this one. Because in this photo... You, you wouldn't be able to because it's you, it's through a window and it wouldn't be low enough for you to see it. Yeah. Objection! Mr. White. Bam! It's impossible for you to have seen a glass light stand. Sorry, I had to get myself a drinky. What? Look at this. These are, are the floor plans to the scene of the murder, yes? Nod. Correct, Your Honor. Now, look. If you were to look through, through the window at the office, this is the area you would be able to see. Here. Well, note that the stand is not within the visible area. Well, Mr. White, what do you have to say to that? Uh, uh, right, ridiculous, Mr. White, if you were in the Gayware Hotel as you claim, you could not have seen the sand before it fell over. In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it all fell either. There's no way you could have seen, have recognized the broken charts as a glass light stand. So, when did you see the stand, Mr. White? It must have been the moment that it fell. And the only place you could have seen that from is inside the Bay Law Offices. In other words, you were at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. <laughs> bam, smack, bam. <laughs> Mr. White? <laughs> Mr. White? <laughs> You did it, didn't you? <laughs> M miss you on. Uh, uh, miss Mia. <laughs> Looks like we're about to get our verdict. Objection. That's far enough, Phoenix Wright. Wh what? I forgot about Edgeworth. Could you forget about him? He's like saying it like across from you. <laughs> Mr. White. Mr. White, I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess your crime now, hmm? What? what, what? <laughs> I said, you shouldn't confess your crime. Ego. <laughs> you silly little. Confess that you placed the wiretap. The, the wiretap? Smack, smack, smack. Order, order. Mr. Edgeworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. Distinguished members of the court. Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain. I really don't like the way he, this is headed. Also, I don't even like heads. So, <laughs> as you know, as you know, Mr. White is the CEO of the Blue Corp. He ordered his secretary, Miss April May, to tap the law offices of Miss Fay. What does that have, have to do? Your Honor, the question is. When was the wiretap placed in the office, and by who? No, you wouldn't, Mr. White. In order to place the wiretap, you entered Miss Faye's office. Am I correct? Uh, correct, correct, you are most correct, Miles. Give me a break. Yes, in order to place the wiretap, I breached the Faye Co. offices. That is when I saw that accursed light stand. Smack, smack, smack. Now, now I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edward. Gladi Gladi Your Honor. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his position quite clear. He has determined that Mr. White, in the glass stand, was in the office. He has known that there was only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. The very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Mr. Wright would like you to believe that Mr. White was a murderer. I see. However, it is it is a fact that Mr. White had been 
to, to that office well before the murder took place. When he went to place the wiretap, he could he could have seen the glass light send then. Slam, ergo, therefore, hitherto, Mr. Phoenix writes, the uh, theory is revealed for the basic conjecture it is. Blah, 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 blah. Smack, smack, smack. Mr. White, you will testify in the court about this wiretapping. <laughs> sparkle, sparkle. Him, leave it to me. I, I feel faint. When is Sess money? The wiretapping. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. I have answered the fan code law offices. Of course, I had done so to play to wiretap. That is when I saw this glass last stand. Hmm. So you saw the, the stand before the night of the murder. And this is how you were able to identify what had fallen over by the sound. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. I'm trying to distract you, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Correct. That is correct. I see. Very well, Mr. White. You may call your examining. <sighs> what am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. I mean, I'm not going to really do anything, so... Cause emanation, the wiretapping. It was the beginning of September, the week before the murder. Hold it. What is September? Do, do, do you have proof? Objection. Miss April May knew, knew the detail of Miss Faye's phone conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Huh, right. I had entered the Fanko offices. Hold it! Was it really you that went into that office? Or was it Miss May? Objection. Unidentified thing, fingerprints. Several old several old were found in the Fanko offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. If I know Edgeworth, he's already run, run a check on those prints. Oh, I'm so smart. Now, Mr. White, tell us why you went to the Fane Co. Law Offices. Of course, I had done so to place the wiretap. Hold it. Bam. Why did you tap me his phone? Objection. This has no bearing on the current case, Your Honor. L Luke Corp is a detec de detective agency of sorts. We have a responsibility to protect client confidentiality. That is when I saw this glass last stand. Hold it! Why did you notice something as innocuous as, li as a light stand? Last stand was made up entirely out of glass. <laughs> I mean, I would think so because then I called it glass last stand, but whatever. <laughs> it was quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such a beautiful, dangerous thing deserves attention, does it not? That is all. Damn it. There's nothing f there for, for me to press him down on. Oh well, maybe it's well enough that I can bluff something out of him. Uh oh. Don't tell me I've run out of ammo. <laughs> I'm afraid that's as far as you go, Mr. White. The time has come for you to admit to your defeat. You fought honorably. <laughs> no more. I can't take this anymore. I'm getting bullied, Scoob. Mr. White, are you giving up? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Phoenix. <gasps> Phoenix, over here. I know that voice. M M Mia? Never go up. give up, Phoenix. <gasps> M M Mia. Now Phoenix is dead. <laughs> well, that's the end of the game, guys. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's still going. Uh, where am I? The wedding lobby. What happened? Oh, oh, right. I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. <gasps> ah, you're finally awake. <gasps> He died again. Uh, hey, Phoenix. Gak, that's no way to greet an old friend. Phoenix, I want you to look at me. Ooh. 
You're um, Maya? Didn't you, didn't you know that the Fey women have strong psychic powers? When you accepted your defeat in court, it appears that was enough of a shock to awaken my true powers. So Maya is shelling you? Mia? That's right. I am Maya. But I am also Mia. <laughs> this is so a weird thing. Like, I played this game, like, two other times already. And, like, <laughs> this is still weird to me. I don't know. Just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Now, I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can't either. That's what I came here to tell you. <gasps> but, but, but... You don't have much time, Phoenix. And listen. You've already won. Huh? You have that receipt in the core record, right? Um, uh, oh, oh, yeah, the one you wrote Maya on. Phoenix, I wrote that, not me. So, so what do I do with it? Through the front of the receipt. The front? Oh, it's a regular receipt. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why Phoenix never even had the thought to even look at the back. Because I feel like if I, it was in real life, I feel like he would. I feel like he would like look at the back like a person, like an actual person would. But because it's a video game, I guess he just couldn't. <laughs> it's a regular receipt. It's like it's from a famous department store. A thousand dollars. Wow, big spender. Item, class light stand. Get a purchase September 4th. <gasps> September 4th. That's right, Phoenix. I bought that stand the day before I was killed. Whoa. Now, what, what did Mr. White say, say in his testimony? Hey, I'm back again. It was beginning of September, the week before the murder. He said he was. He saw the sand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the, the court is about to reconvene. Go to do it, Phoenix. You know you're, you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. Right. Ooh, I have chills. <laughs> ah, this game's so good. September 9th, 11.16 p.m. Did you record? Quorum number one. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Also, I guess I'm not going to talk about you passing out, but whatever. <laughs> Is the offender rather, are, are you alright? Okay, he said. He's, talk he's talking about it. Mr. Wright? <laughs> yes, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then, let's start where we left off. <laughs> oh, you just passed out, you silly little noob. Your Honor, there's nothing to go back to. The call examination of Mr. White is finished. All that is required now is for you to pass judgment on the defendant thinks right. Hmm. Bam! Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an not, opinion on this matter? <laughs> I bow. I say, let us give Miss Wright his last chance. Surely good. <laughs> Very well. You may begin your call examination. Drink some more water. He's getting, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's kind of awkward because we just, you know, send the thing that we just got. Objection! Look closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Y'all grasping. Bam! I think not. Look at the other side of the re receipt. The, the other side? I never checked. There's other side? No! <laughs> Guys, what? Why? Why don't you check the other side? This is so dumb, but I love it. <laughs> Your Honor. You tell the court what is written on the other side of that receipt. Hmm. Well, the glass light stand. And the date of purchase? Why, that's the day before the murder. Uh, uh, you see, Mr. White, when you allegedly entered Fay and Co. office at the, at the beginning of September. No, no, no. The stand could not have been there. Gah! Well, Mr. White, 
Can't get out of this one, can you? No, it, it, it's it's achievable. Uh oh, he's losing it. I don't know why I would be. I don't know why I would worry about him, but okay. <laughs> well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. Bam. But I think you'll agree you can't ju judge me guilty under these circumstances. Ugh. Very well. Smack. Then that is all for the trial of... Objection. Ho, ho, ho. I'm Santa Claus. No, no, I'm Santa Claus. I have the beard. No, I was just trying to trying to be funny. Oh, oh I, I, I see, I see. Not so fast, Phoenix Wright. Eh? What? Nani? No way can, can he worm his way out of this one. Oh wait, I forgot. It's Edgeworth. <laughs> There's a sudden threat of logic to the defend defendant's claims. Smack. However, there's no concrete proof that Phoenix Wright is innocent. <gasps> Ego. I'd like to press one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm? Another inquiry? This ain't gonna, gonna be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up evidence as he pleases. This is bad. Object. Bam. Mr. White's guilt, guilt is obvious. There's no need to prolong this trial any further. Yeah. Hmm. Yo, Fruits, yeah, you go, me. Me, Paisano. <laughs> hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> oh. If anyone is going to call Mr. White to trial, it would be me, the, the prosecution. I need a day to ascertain whether his new claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm. I see. Objection denied. What? Bam. The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright would be postponed until tomorrow. No, there's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. Hentress is sure to come up with, or just make up something. And after Mia showed up to me, help me and all. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. You had a deus ex machina, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Miss Your Honor, may I go home? Of course, thank you for your time. Even though know you're really suspicious, but whatever. God, the witness will stay. Mia, Phoenix, read this note out loud. M Mia, what's this? Nod. Mia's my mom. Your Honor, if I may, you're quite persistent today, Miss Wright. You bet I am. My life is riding on this one. I have something I would like to read to the court. <laughs> I don't know why I would show him anything else, because I know what it is. The memo Mia had given me was a list of names. Many of them sounded strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. S stop! D desist! Halt! P please! Stop! Make him stop! H how did you get that list? Mr. White, admit your guilt right here, right now, or else this list will be released to the press. <laughs> I... I confess. I confess. I... I did it. I hit her. I hit Ms. Mia with... The thinker. Case closed, Your Honor. <sighs> he's just he's just smiling the whole way. <laughs> Doesn't even know what's going on. Well, I see no reason to continue this trial, Mr. White. Yes, Your Honor. You've done it again. That was quite a spirited defense. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. I guess you'd say that. If only you know how spirited it was. <laughs> it's because Mia's dead. Hmm, well, this court finds the defense. Hmm, <laughs> rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty. Ooh, yeah. Little confetti. Ooh. Bam. That is all. This court is adjourned. 
September 9th, 2.24 p.m. to Shakur, defendant of lobby number one. Well, I never thought I'd, I'd be saying this again. But congratulations, you're lucky I, I was born a fae. I'm lucky I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me, and Maya. I won't forget it as long as I live. As long as you live? My timer's running out. Huh? Maya's powers are so weak. I can't stay here that long. What? No, there's still so much to say. I, I, I wanted to ask you about her to hate. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Ch chief! <laughs> I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix. Can you come to the office tonight, say, 9 o'clock? The office? I'll see you later. Chief! Mia! September 9th, 9.02 p.m. Banco Law Offices. Being here, it's hard not to think about that night. You came. Mia? I was kind of worried you might, might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then, I'm pretty hungry. How about a burger? M Mia? <laughs> you should see your face. Mia? What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. M Maya? <laughs> you don't think she, she told you that, like, she was going to disappear, so I don't know why you would... Okay. <laughs> what? Did I look like my sister? Look like you were her. Hmm. I might be, be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix, go to the store and buy me lunch, would you? Um, Maya, why are you here? Because of this. See, Mia wrote, wrote me a letter. Take care of Phoenix for me. Take care of... Huh? She means the office. This office. Someone has to help with the new fake writing co offices, right? I almost said Fanco again. And who better but me, Maya Faye, reporting for duty. Wait, wait, no. Uh, one, one, on second thought, let me, let's make this look casual. Yo, Nick, Maya here, ready to get down to business. You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name. M Mia said that that's what your friend Larry calls you. Nick. You know what this means? We're partners. You know, when I think about it, it is Maya's fault I'm here now. But if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Ryan Kulovs has it's got a great name. I think I learned something today. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Maya. Aw. <laughs> I love this picture. Hello, Phoenix. I'll always be here, watching. Right. Okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? Huh? Do, do what? Whoa, wait, what? Burgers, dummy. Burgers. There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on. Time's a wasting. Oh, okay. Wait up. The end. <sighs> well, there goes case two, guys. Case three. Oh, no spoilers. I don't want to let people see that. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm glad I started this series, man. I just love voicing all these characters. It's very great. Anyway, see you guys later. We're going to do uh, Case 3 later, you know. See you guys later. I think I learned something today. <laughs> uh.